happy day students let's continue where we left in our last class suppose that now this in this uh, setup we have the two sources s1 and s2 okay they are coherent sources we know and the wavelength is we can say 4000 angstrom okay distance between the two sources is 1 mm and between source and screen is 1 meter now you can see that this small d is very small as compared to capital d capital d is given 1 meter and d is given 1 mm okay that means d is 1000 times more than small d this is very large second thing we have to see is this is 1 mm and the wavelength is given 4000 angstrom so can we say lambda is uh, rather small d is very large as compared to lambda we can because lambda is 4 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter 4000 angstrom means 4 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter whereas d is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter okay that means d is 10000 times more than lambda okay so what we do in this case now suppose i ask a question find the position of first maxima or second maxima how to do the first thing is what we are going to get over here again this is central maxima zero is maxima okay because the path difference between the two is zero at point two if suppose the question is find position of first maxima find position of first maxima we know that first maxima will be here okay same thing same thing again join it over here from s1 drop the perpendicular this is delta x this is theta and this is also theta as we did in the previous case again i am writing same thing sin theta equal to delta x by d okay what is delta x here lambda because we are searching first maximum so one lambda lambda means what 4 into 10 to the power minus by d what is d 1 mm that means 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 what are we getting 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. okay then 10 theta equal to y by d y we are finding and d is 1 now since sin theta is 0.0004 that means it's very very small so for this small value i can say sin theta equal to 10 theta so what is sin theta 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter what is sin theta y so i can directly write y equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter so you got the definition okay now the second question i am asking Where is second maxima? So in the last class I told you a concept of fringe with beta. What was beta? Beta was distance between two successive maxima. That means after first maxima, obviously there will be second maxima. So fringe with means this. Or for that matter, in, in any question directly also it can be asked what is the fringe width in this particular setup. Okay. So what is beta in that case? Lambda d by d. Now remember, this can be used only when the d, the small d, is a lot greater than lambda. Then only you will see this formula. So what is lambda d by d? Lambda d by d is the separation between first maxima and zero maxima. Okay, and that we have already found. Four into ten to the power minus four. So that means what is the gap between first maxima and second maxima? 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. Meter. 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. Now suppose I ask you what is the distance between central maxima and second maxima? The distance between central maxima and second maxima, we can say the distance is 2 beta. Distance between 0 and 1 beta. Plus one into is two beta. So directly we can write this as two into four into ten to the power minus four meters. That means 
8 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. If we have to find the distance between central maxima and third maxima, 3 beta. Fourth maxima, 4 beta. Okay, that's fine. Now, if suppose I want to find distance between central maxima and first minima, then we don't have to go back to sine theta and sin theta. Okay, first minima will be exactly in the middle of 0 maxima and first maxima. First minima is this. Okay, where it is? Exactly in the middle of 0 maxima and first maxima. So, position of first minima. Because you already have got this distance, I can directly say 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. But otherwise, position of first minima is either the beta by 2. Okay? Which will be lambda d by 2 d. If you see in the previous class, this formula I have given you already. Okay, so what is this? This is beta by 2. Position of first minima. Position of second minima, if we have to find from central maxima, what do you do? 3 by 2. Lambda d by 2. 2n plus 1, lambda d by 2d. That's the formula. So, second maxima means 3 lambda d by 2d. That means first minima plus beta. Okay? So, this way we can find the various positions of maxima and minima in the case when it is given that this d, this 1m is a lot more than lambda. Is that clear to you? Okay? Let's see two more things in this one. Okay. Now, this source S1 and this source S2. Let's assume that both have intensity I and I. Here is a screen. Okay. And this is what we are calling a central maximum. Okay. Now, we know that the intensities of these two sources are the same and at this position they are going to interfere. So, resultant intensity formula is what? Resultant intensity formula is I1 plus I2 plus 2 root over I, I1 I2 into cos i. Then why I am writing I and I? Because here I1 and I2 both are equal to I. Okay? So what is coming? This is 2I. And here also 2. This is also 2I. 2I cos 1. What we are getting? 2I we can take common. This is 1 plus cos 5. This 1 plus cos 5 I can write as. What we can write as? This cos 5. I can write as 2 cos phi of phi by 2 minus 1. What I can write this as? 2 cos phi of phi by 2 minus 1. Let's put it over here. 2i into 1 plus 2 cos phi of phi by 2 minus 1. This 1 and 1 is gone. What are we getting? We are getting 4i cos phi of phi by 2. Okay. This is the formula when, when the two sources are of same intensity. So, resultant intensity we can write as 4i cos square 5 by 2. Very important formula, we need to remember that. Okay. So, resultant intensity is 4i cos square 5 by 2. Now, this is central maxima, 0 path difference, maximum intensity. Okay. So, if I am going to put over here, path difference 0, a path difference 0 means phase difference is also. 0. If path difference is 0, phase difference is also 0. So, put here 0. See, what is the resultant intensity coming? 4i. So, here intensity is 4i. Central maximum. Okay. Then, here will be what? First minimum. So, at minimum, what should be the intensity? Intensity at minimum is 0. How can we say? Because minimum intensity, whenever we say the path difference, is lambda by 2 and phase difference is phi. Phase difference is phi. Let's put it over here, phi. So, if we are putting phi over here, it becomes phi by 2. That means 90. 
cos 90 is what? 0. So, result rate is 0. So, 0 intensity, path difference lambda by 2, phase difference 5. After that, first maxima. First maxima, here, path difference is lambda. And then, phase difference is 2 pi. So, 2 pi when you are keeping over here, 2 pi by 2, it becomes 5. Cos square pi, 1. 1 into 4 pi means 4i only. So, here also intensity is 4i. So, 4i, 0, 4i. If you go further, again, second minima. For second minima, delta x is c lambda by 2. Okay, and phase difference is 3 pi. And intensity, 0. So, what I am trying to say over here, here intensity 4i, here intensity 0, again 4i 0. In between, intensity is going to be uh, i also, intensity is going to be 2i also, intensity is going to be 3i also. So, the question can be asked regarding that as well. Okay, the first thing is, you should be knowing that what should be the path difference at various positions, what should be the phase difference at various positions and how we are going to get the intensity. Okay. So now, the next question that I am asking you is based on that one. See, what is the question? Okay. So, there are two sources, S1, S2. Intensity is I for both. Okay. We want to find position on screen. Position from central maximum where intensity A, C, I. Where intensity is 3, I am not asking you the position where the intensity is 4, I because we know that 4, I means maxima. 0 means minima. I am asking something in between. So, 3, I is the intensity. Okay? And you know that if here is 4, I, here is 0, here is 4, I, here is 0. That means in between somewhere will be 3, I. Here also, here also, here also. So, there will be many 3, I intensity. So, that we will look out for later on. But let's see that how to proceed this. Okay. So, resultant intensity is 3i. Okay, fine. So, how to proceed? Now, we know that resultant intensity formula is 4i cos is pi r pi by 2. What resultant intensity we are finding here? 3i. 3i, here is 4i cos is pi r pi by 2. i gets cancelled. This is 3 by 4 cos is pi r. Square, so take square root, become root 3 by 2, that's equal to cos 5 by 2. Now root 3 by 2, and this can be plus minus. Okay, so root 3 by 2 means angular value, that 5 by 2 value. Can be what? The first value for the positive one. Okay, so positive one means it can be 30 degrees, so that means 5 by 6. Possible? Very much possible. Minus root 3 by 2. Okay, we go in the second part. Right? We can say 150 degrees. Can say 150 degrees. So 150 degrees. And so on. Depending on what position we are finding. Okay, so suppose we are going for 5 by 6 value only and not for 150. So 5 by 6. So 5 by 2 equal to 5 by 6. So 5 is 1. 5 is 5 by 2. Phase difference is pi by 3. Then what we will do from here onwards? It is 2 pi by lambda into delta x equal to pi by 3. Okay. So pi and pi get cancelled. We got lambda x. So delta x. Delta x is lambda by 6. So once I got delta x value, I can find the position also. Let's say the position is this. That's why. That's why we are finding. Okay. If I assume in this case also that this d is a lot greater than lambda and d is a lot greater than d, then what we can do? We can equate sine theta with sine theta. Okay, what is sine theta formula? Sine theta formula is delta x by d and sine theta formula y by d. So y is equal to Delta actually already found lambda by 6. Lambda by 6 
P by C. At this position, you will be getting the intensity 3i. The next 3i, suppose he is asking, then we change the angle. Okay, what will be writing? 150 degrees. Okay, same way, another value we can write. So, by that value, we can calculate the phi value from their delta x value, and that value you can put it in this formula to get the position along the side. Okay, one more question shall we do? Okay, let's assume now I want to find the position on the screen where intensity is 2i. Okay, and let's define where we want to do it. Suppose now we want to find it between this is central maxima, this is first minima, and this is first max. Okay, so what we are saying, find the position where resultant intensity is 2i between first minimum and first max. We want to find in between. So remember now, when you are talking about C, the central maxima, here part difference was 0 and phase difference was C. First minima, part difference is lambda by 2 and phase difference is pi. Here, delta x is lambda and phase difference is 2 pi. That means, whatever the phase difference you are getting in between this has to be between pi and 2 pi. That we need to take care. Okay, let's do. So, resultant intensity formula is what? 4i cos phi pi by 2. This is 2i. So, 2i equal to 4i cos square phi by 2. I can answer this is 1 by 2 equal to cos square phi by 2. Okay. So then this is square to so take square root so plus minus 1 by root 2 equal to cos phi by 2. So what are the values we can get when we are taking plus 1 by root 2? So phi by 2 value will become phi by 4. 45 degrees. Next is 135 degrees and so on. Okay, so phi value will be 1. Phi value will be phi by 2 or 270 degrees. So now we have to check which one is coming between these two because the position is asked between this and this. So we see phi by 2, phi by 2 is coming between central maximum and first minimum because here phase difference is 0, here phase difference is 5. So phi by 2 comes here. But we are not searching here. We are searching between first minimum and first maximum. That means the phase difference should be between pi and 2 pi. So is it between pi and 2 pi? Yes, because pi means 180 degrees and this means 360 degrees. So we are searching this value. We are searching for pi equal to 270 degrees. So this 270 degrees, first of all we will convert in terms of radians. So what to do? How to convert degree into radians? 70 into pi by 180. So this is 3 and this is 2. So what we got? C pi by 2. So that's the pi value. Then this pi will be writing as 2 pi by lambda into delta x. Pi gets cancelled. Delta x we are getting as C lambda by 2. Okay. Then what do you do? We know that y value is delta x capital V by Okay, so then this will become 3 lambda by 4 t by capital. This is the position of the point where intensity is 2i. Okay, so that's all for today. In the next class, we will be continuing from here on.